Earlier this year, we spoke of a shift in the way we report out on student progress, how teachers will be collecting evidence of student proficiencies with regards to subject standards. Remember that a standard represents what a student is expected to know or be able to do. Well, now that we're at the end of the first semester, you'll receive a summary report of your son or daughter's progress up to this point. Let's walk through a sample report together so you have a better understanding of what to expect. First, at the top, we have student information, followed by our overall grade descriptors, which range from A to IE. Please note that these letter grades represent a summary of the strand evidence collected so far. Remember, a strand is a collection of like standards. These letter grades do not represent a calculated average. Instead, teachers look at the level of proficiency attained on each strand and make an overall grade determination based upon the descriptors. So, for example, if a student has a B, the student has demonstrated proficiency and or advanced proficiency in a majority of the subject area strands with no more than one strand approaching proficiency. If you should see an IE, that means there was insufficient evidence to ascertain a level of performance at this time. It just means that the teachers didn't have enough to go on to make a determination. Please take some time to read through the descriptors carefully before looking at the overall grades. Next, we have our learning habit descriptors. Now, these are the same as last year. We have engagement, effort, responsibility, respect, and compassionate participation. And below each is a description detailing exactly what that means. The one thing to note is that we use numbers to indicate proficiency. So we'll see a 4, 3, 2, or a 1 listed next to each one of them. So for example, a 3 student consistently exhibits this habit and or value without being asked or reminded. And finally, near the bottom of the first page, we have our performance standards listed below. These you've seen in power school up to this point. Advanced, proficient, approaching proficiency, limited proficiency, something that's not assessed, or incomplete or insufficient evidence. Let's go on to page two. Page two begins with the attendance listed in the top left. You'll see absences for the quarters, as well as the semester in total, and tardies, which means lateness to class. To the right, we'll have our learning habits. Each one of our subject has learning habits listed by their areas, engagement, effort, responsibility, respect, and compassionate participation. And again, remember, we have numbers to indicate levels of proficiency. Below, we have <coughs> our overall academic achievement for the semester and full year courses. The letter grades represent, represented here are determined according to the grade descriptors listed on the previous page. There are no pluses or minuses, A, B, C, D, or E, and I, E for insufficient evidence. You'll have the course name here and the teacher who teaches the course listed there. At the bottom of the page, we have performance information for each subject listed by strand. The scores indicated are the performance standards listed on page 1. So, for example, we have algebra, here are strands, process standards, numbers and operations, etc. And next to the semester one, we have our performance levels, advanced, proficient, advanced, etc. And finally, let's go to the last page listed here. We have the remainder of the courses listed with their strand scores. If your son or daughter has a quarter rotational class, you should see scores listed here, or if they had it quarter one, they'll be listed here. Below that, we have our comments that are listed by your subject teachers. The names have been whited out here, but all of your subject courses should be listed to the left, and then we have the comments here listed by the teacher on this page. Should you need clarification on your son or daughter's academic performance, please do not hesitate to get in touch with his or her teachers. All right, thank you.